All right, guys, we are here at Absolute Recomp, and we are getting ready to train legs with none other than 19-year-old boy prodigy, David Butler. So he's getting ready for his first show ever. So he's getting ready for the Natural Ohio Dave Lieberman show. Um, this MTC Natural Ohio is a great show. Dave Lieberman's had it for a long time. So he's gonna be doing that show, and we're gonna get ready to do legs. This is the first time we've done legs on film, so this is gonna be a good one. Come on, four more. One. All right, guys, we cut the set short. Why? Because we want to go closer to failure and not to fatigue. So therefore, we're gonna raise the weight so we can get closer to failure, bring down the reps, bring up the weight. 10, keep going. 11, good. 12, that's it. Okay, so do you think that was failure? No. Okay. I got a few more left. So how much are you leaving on the table? Guys, listen to this. You need to learn what failure is. Your mind thinks that's failure, that's not failure. He was willing to do three plates lighter and call that a working set and then do one more after that and then he was done. Do you think you're gonna grow that way? You're not. I'm gonna go ahead and answer that question for you. You're absolutely not. So the frustration I have for all the athletes around here, I mean, he's got a little bit of a pass because this is his first show, but if you really wanna get better, understand what failure really means. It means that you have to imagine whether it's me or somebody else barking in your ear to the point where you can't do a full functioning rep. And then after that, you do three partials. And then after that, you turn around and do a couple more partials. And then after that, you squeeze your leg. That's how you get to failure. Let's go. Two, come on. Three. Squeeze your legs, squeeze your legs harder. Push it on the outer, outer quad. Go to the side, and do a side chest look, at, yeah, like that. Go up, drop it, good. There you go. Hold that, push that, push that on the leg. Squeeze, is your glute coming in yet? Pull it down, pull it up, pull it up. Let's do the glute hamstring insertion, higher. Pull this up. Squeeze that glute. Sit on it. There you go. Good job. Good. Better. Good. Now we got one more. Good. And if you notice, he's keeping his legs with his feet pointed. We're gonna, it's gonna really help activate your upper thigh. Good. 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 Now keep your feet up. There, go. Good. Go. Good. Go. Good. Partial. Go. Good, partial, good. Cut the weight to 145. Go. Right there, good. Good, good. Good, keep going. Good, come on, come on, you got it, cool. Partial, two more. One more. Hold it there, hold it right there. Go a little higher. Right there, hold it, hold it. Five seconds, hold it. Fight me, fight me, fight me, fight me. Good, good, squeeze it out, come on. There you go. Four, three, two, one. Good, to the side now. Up. Good, squeeze that glute, sit on the glute. Put some pressure and get the glute to fire. Good. Touch your butt, see, tell me, is it hard? Good. How can you tell, are you feeling it? Good. Good, now the other side. 
Come on, go up on your toe. Good, like that, good. Now sit on it, good job. Good. Get a harder through that glue, good. Good, keep going. Go. Five, good. Go. Four. Three. Two. One more. One more. Good job. Good, that's a good warm up. We're gonna raise the weight one and then we're gonna bring it up. Oh, good. Good, go a little higher, a little higher. Go all the way up, keep your feet regular like that, keep it down, your toes just the other way, yeah, there you go, like that. Now go all the way up, all the way up right there, and hold it, hold it, hold it, okay. One more like that, up. Slow, go down slowly, that's it, good job. All right, so this exercise is just like a bicep curl, but instead of for your arms, you're doing it for the hamstring, so it's bicep femoris. You're laying on the machine, dialed in to the camshaft, so the moving piece of the camshaft is gonna be in line with your knee, and then you're gonna bring him up. You have two different toe positions, very similar to leg extension, where you're gonna do either toes straight, or you're gonna go ahead and go toes back. Do you feel a difference? I do. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, so normally when you're keeping your toes straight, you're gonna feel a little bit on the lower hamstring, closer to the back of the knee, and then when you keep it into the regular foot position, you're gonna feel it in the overall hamstring, mid to upper. So again, I like to use both. You wanna use variation to help growth and to be able to break plateaus. Three. Five. Good, come on. Three more. One. Two. Come on, keep going. Keep going. Go, go. I'll help you to the top part. Go. Go, 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 go. Closer, closer. Closer, closer. Hold that. Good. One more like that. Excellent. Excellent hamstring pump. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. All the way to the top. All, all the way to the top. All the way to the top. All the way. All the way. Good job. That's it. Good job. Excellent. So here's a tip for you guys. When you're doing warm-ups, don't feel like you always have to do 15 reps. What you're doing is you're using it as a feel-out process as well, especially when you're doing your second or third warm-up. Try to get a feel for the weight. You can do six, eight, 10. If, even if you're trying to originally go for that 12 to 15 for the third or fourth set, make sure that you don't end up getting yourself too fatigued. Make sure you're either working hard with the volume or hard with weight. You don't wanna do this in between too much. Again, I'm not saying not to do warm-ups, do warm-ups, but when you're doing that second or third set warm-up, if you have to, go down to six to eight reps, get a feel for the weight, and then move on. Go. One, good. Two, good, keep going. Two. Three, come on. Four. Five, good. 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 Okay, racket. Racket, let's add some weight. Put a quarter on there, come on. Let's go. Give me 10. Go. One. Good. Go. Two. Go. Three. Good. Go. Go. Six. Good. Go. Up. Up. 
One more. Up. Keep going, two more. Go. Now this is a working set, come on. Good, go. In the hole, drive it up. Good, give me three partials off the bottom. Go, go with me, with me, go. Up, one, a little higher. Two, one more. Up, drive it all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Good job, good job. Excellent. Okay, good, go. Go, right there. One, good. Good. Two. Go. Three. Good, come on, a little faster, come on. A little faster. Go. Good. Good. Go. Go. Good, come on, go. One more. Good, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up, all the way up. Good, lock it out. Flex your legs, come on. Right here in the light, underneath that light right there. Are they pumped? Hold it, five seconds. Good. Now you're using more legs and hips and less lower back. Do you feel it? Good. One. Two. Okay, now go all the way to the bottom and go half. So what's happening is you're in this position. Okay, this is like a good morning. Cool maybe for some hamstrings, but it ain't gonna help you build your legs, okay? When you're squatting, you wanna go here, and then you wanna get into that hole. Break pelvis parallel, right here. Break parallel, and then go all the way up, okay? Just go right below parallel and back up. Good job. Good, good, you're doing great. Good. Three, one more, one more, go. Get in the hole and drive it up, drive it up. Good, easy, easy. All right, now we're doing pendulum squats. So with pendulum squats, the key is to make sure you know where you want your feet to be able to target your quads. What you wanna do is you wanna make sure you're not too far forward because if you do, you're gonna feel a lot of glute hamstrings or even if you are really far forward, like we had Dave, he was trying to do in the very beginning, he ends up kind of leaning forward and that's gonna put a lot of pressure on your lower back and you're gonna feel a little more in the hamstrings. So again, this is not a good morning, even though you can use it as a good morning type exercise. What we wanna do is we wanna be a little bit closer, a feel a little closer to your body, closer to uh, right underneath your hips. And then you wanna be able to really get break parallel and then go right back up. Break parallel, right back up. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Two more. Finish it. Go with me. Good. Easy. See? It's all in your. It's all in your head. Good job. All right, I'm not going particularly too hard on him because I know that he's five weeks out, his calories are a little bit lower, even though they're not that low because you're about, what, 27, 2800 calories? Yeah, he's at 27, 2800 calories. Yesterday, his carbs are at 250 grams, so his carbs aren't too low. Before that, we dipped down as low as uh, about 150 um, on your low days. I, I went down as low as 100 grams. Yeah, but that was only like one time, one day. <laughs> one day in a whole prep. That was a long day. <laughs> it's one day. Yeah, so everyone out there that's competed before is gonna laugh, but yeah, he went one day at 100 grams. Uh, and again, he just started doing a little bit of carb cycling, uh, bouncing between 250, went down to 100 just for that one time. This is just for this last week's carb cycle. Uh, uh, just so we can build, they can really start being able to bring them down. But um, how do you feel today? Today's rough, but we got to stick through it and uh, keep going. And you don't quit. So 
that's what all of prep is about. I think there's a lot of days on prep where you don't want to do it, but you just gotta want to finish it through. So that's what we're here to do. Yeah, but you gotta do it. And so we got one more exercise to do. We're gonna do vertical leg press. Um, we're gonna go there. We were gonna do originally an FSC seven set. We're gonna try to go ahead and do an FSC seven set because if he passes out, at least we'll make sure to put the stoppers in so the weight doesn't crush him. And he's also already on the ground, so he doesn't have to fall over. <laughs> Let's go do this, come on. Um, just wanna go about 12 to 15 reps. Uh, oh, how low? Right there, right there, back up. That's one, a little higher. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. One more. Good job. Okay. So David has never done vertical leg press before. Is this your first set ever? First set ever on vertical leg press. First time ever, congratulations. First set ever on vertical leg press. He has popped his cherry and he's doing it with only one plate, but he is a little bit tired, but it's okay. This FST seven set might end up being FST three, FST three set, I guess. It's kind of weird, but it's okay. We'll do the best we can. Keep going, buddy. Keep going, brother. Come on. Come on, keep going. Good, keep going. Ship a little higher. Okay, give me three, three. One, good. Drive it up. Two, one more. You got all the power in the world. Drive it up, use the glutes. Good job, lock it out. Good, better, better. One. Two. Three, four, five, six, two more, seven, one more. That's it, good job, good job, that's it. Keep it slow, steady, easy. Again, we need to go too crazy because this is the first time he's done vertical leg press because he's getting those cold chills. Normally when you train, you get a little bit warm, you get hot, you start sweating. When you start getting into the cold chills, then you know things are going a little bit south. So again, we don't want to annihilate, we want to stimulate, not annihilate. We talk about that all the time. You don't want to end up getting so tore up that you're not gonna be able to train in, in for several days. So you want to be able to get right to that point and then start the recovery process right away. So we're gonna go ahead, get him in some Normally we go back and forth between aminos. What have you been doing? Have you been doing amino cam or have you been doing isoject? Which one have you been doing after workout? I do amino cam during my workout in the middle. And then whenever I'm done, I'll do my isoject. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so you want to let wait your stomach settle or do you you know, or do you normally go right into this chain? Normally hungry. Yeah. So I normally have it right after. Okay, are you hungry right now? No, I'm okay. <laughs> yeah, not as hungry right now. But again, when you get nauseous from just being at that exertion, it's normal. Sometimes you're gonna want to not eat right away. That's when you really should be sipping a little bit of your shake just to get the aminos in there because the essential amino acids that come from complete proteins like a whey isolate comes in really, really handy. And again, if you're adding carbs because you're off season, it's a great thing to do is you create synergy with carbohydrates. I have my athletes do glycogen with isoject post-workout and then even add in creatine with it as well to be able to get really high absorption levels post-workout. So again, carbohydrates, isoject, glycogen, as well as creatine works well, all three of those together. So again, make sure you till it, but make sure you don't annihilate to the point where you can't come back and train the next couple of days. So, you feel good? I feel good. <laughs> again, five weeks out, Hani Rambot, David Butler. I think he's gonna go puke right now or pass out, but that's okay, because he'll be okay, he'll live.